my name is Paul Hobro. I'm the mayor for the town of Ingersoll. And today we're going to go around uh, as part of the mayor's message, Christmas message, uh, meet some of the people that make Ing Ingersoll a great place to be. I know you're a member of the BIA board, um, mm -hmm. so it's all about trying to develop a bit of a relationship with outside customers uh, and get them not only here, but throughout the whole community. Oh, absolutely. And all the merchants downtown uh, work together. Yeah. If they go and see Roberts for a new dress or a new outfit, they say, where do we go for lunch? They pass it on to here. And we have recently started a wedding committee in Ingersoll, so you can come here and plan your whole wedding whether versus your photographer, your cakes, invitations, dresses, jewelry, flowers, everything is everything is here and the merchants work together. Have they spent enough time here, it's time for them to move on or not? Yeah. <laughs> so we're just uh, getting ready here for the lunch uh, lunchtime, uh, soup, salad, uh, and uh, so you've got uh, three people back here going at it pretty hard today. Um, this is usual staff uh, complement is uh, four or five people during the day. Well, we have Rachel, our co-op student from IDCI, which I participate in. Uh, in each term, they will come to me and say they have a co-op student, which I take no right. problem at all. And then we have Denver. She works Monday to Friday, and she is our help in the kitchen. And then we have Kate Ryan, our chef extraordinaire which thinks of the daily specials, she's in charge of the catering. I don't know where I'd be without her. And all this stuff is cholesterol free. I can see the cr cream sugar there, right, uh, going into those little things. I'm yeah. sure there's a... Cholesterol free, sugar free, um, yeah, I'll bet. no calories. Yeah, I'll, so I'll bet, exactly. Uh, being originally from London, right. I was amazed at the amount of support that people have with local businesses. It's just buy local, buy local and people will support each other. I didn't think that familiar uh, small town feeling was around anymore, but so I was surprised and it was definitely here in Ingersoll. All right, Katie, what are we making today? Today is actually a feature salad that we have that has uh, spring mix, blackberries, apple, it has uh, toasted walnuts, sunflower seeds, and uh, pecans on it today as well. So we call it a fruit and nut salad. That sounds very healthy. Good. I should be back for lunch, I think. If, if, yeah. <laughs> so you're obviously very hands-on in here. It's not just uh, you're bringing your talents uh, not only into the kitchen, but out with the customers and everybody else. So that's, uh, I know the uh, small town atmosphere, they appreciate that too. They love homemade stuff. Right now I'm doing molasses cookies for Christmas. And it's something that you normally can't go into a regular grocery store or anything anywhere else to get. And that's what we do. Um, that's what we do here. Customers will come in and ask if they have, do we have this? Do we have that? Can you make this? And that's what we do. If we have a request for something that's not on our regular showcase out there, we make it for them. We're uh, fortunate to get some uh, rural economic development uh, money uh, for downtown improvements. We've uh, improved the, the uh, sidewalks. Uh, there's a facade uh, loan program that uh, people are embracing. Uh, you know, it's, it's coming along a little slow because there's some uh, corporate issues that they have to deal with as far as signage, but we're trying to, uh, you know, spruce up the downtown, uh, what it looks like as you drive through, and hopefully people will stop and uh, visit some of the stores and shops that uh, are in downtown Ingersoll. The street lights have been up for a number of years um, where it gives a little different ambience to the downtown. They're not as bright. Uh, so we're, we're just trying to work together with uh, the BIA and the merchants uh, on, on how to, you know, not only attract but retain what we have uh, here in the core. And uh, so far it's been fairly successful. Our uh, vacancy rate uh, is going down. Uh, obviously, the economy drives some of that, but uh, we're uh, we're pretty happy with uh, the main core area and uh, how uh, people are becoming attracted to it uh, to invest money in it, and uh, also the shoppers uh, continue to come. All right, uh, Gene, it's been a very busy year for you in the engineering department uh, with the infrastructure projects that. Uh, we were fortunate to get through the economic stimulus package. Uh, so tell us a little bit about the dollar figures and uh, what projects uh, Ingersoll's uh, certainly been beneficial from that package. 
Well, we've uh, been benefited in uh, three pa uh, projects, uh, Clark Road East reconstruction, King Street West reconstruction, and Wanham Street North. Uh, we've received approximately $10.5 million from uh, the three levels of government, including ourselves, uh, to do these projects. And we've uh, commenced pr uh, construction on two, and they're in the uh, winter mode pretty well right now, Clark Road and Wanham Street, and they will start back up in the spring, as will King Street West. Right. We've had a pretty good construction season for uh, this time of year, so we've been pretty fortunate uh, because there are timelines that we have to meet uh, in order to uh, to get all that money. So uh, we've had uh, some good local contractors, uh, some local, some uh, from a little distance that have done the job for us. Uh, We've been very fortunate. Um, a year ago, we were shoveling uh, two feet of snow out of the way to get our projects uh, completed to a certain point. This year, we've been uh, we've got all our asphalt down. Uh, but the only thing we can't get is sod right now because it's frozen. But very fortunate, and uh, we've got the, the stimulus projects have to be completed by uh, March of 2011. Complete payments, but we're aiming to be finished by uh, about September or October of next year with all those three projects. And, uh, and these projects, they were uh, they were on the books uh, for the town of Ingersoll to be completed. This just uh, accelerates them. Uh, it's yes, these uh, the three projects probably were sitting uh, about three to four years away, and the stimulus funding came along and certainly did uh, move the projects ahead in a hurry.